Welcome back to Trails from Zero. Should be video number 45 so far. So, as you can see, uh, as you when you go to a new chapter, there might be some new uh, um, art images, you know, at the title screen. So let's see what we get. Chapter two. Well, unfortunately, it's so random. So this is just the same uh, art style of, uh, uh, I think, the prequel, Chapter Zero, or whatever. Um, because what I was doing i was gonna do some off-screen grinding a little bit and do some shopping off-screen but uh, then i saw an image uh that shows the uh entertainment district which is really cool i, I do like the art style so sorry about that let's uh, load back so sorry about that in the beginning but you know it's totally random so anyways uh i was gonna do stuff off screen but uh, a lot of things happen if you uh talk to certain people because i went over here Let's talk to the balloon guy. <laughs> Haas. Yeah, get your very own balloon here. Yeah, fly, fly away. He is not kidding. Anything could happen with balloons. Anything could go wrong. Now, anyways, if you talk to... Um, yeah, because I was going to do some orbital stuff off screen. And I'll let you guys know, but... But she is also part of the uh, request. So, yeah. So I'll just have to show this off. Yep, request. Yep, the Enigma. So something on Enigma. And who better to try it out than the people who actually use it, huh? Okay. Man, I <laughs> I really miss the Arcus, man. I got Trails of Cold Steel in my mind, but... Oh, well. <laughs> At least we could get to see the Enigma here in Crossbell. Okay. A new benchmark program into your Enigma units. Huh. <laughs> Epstein Foundation, yep, the creators of the Enigma Ordnance, are scouting out ideas for the system. Huh. Oh, and that, no wonder why. And then that's where um, Prince Albert comes in, and then he decided to make the a more improved, uh, which is the Arcus. Man. <laughs> but this is back then, the Enigma. So it's still brand new, spanking new, and it's widespread yet, you know. Books of the foundation are still fine tuning the spec, so they want to report on its uh, efficiency. Huh. Next data, orbit durability and efficiency. Yep, making troubleshooting issues. Yeah, she's part of it. Anything all about this? Yeah, an orbital staff. Yep. I was on the Orbital Staff uh, development team, not the Enigma, so yeah. The current task is conducting combat tests with the Orbital Staff, yeah. But she doesn't know about the Enigma. Yep, he did mention that before. Yep, in the uh, IBC bank, when she, when we met the uh, the her boss or whatever, that scientist guy. Sorry, I forgot his name. So Sounds like the foundation is conducting a lot of tests. For their dev teams, huh? All right. This is half half-assed test. Old bud, as an engineer, I know how nice just to get a real feedback, experienced users. All right. We gotcha. We'll do this, but that's Wendy for you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking to the actual Wendy who did beat me uh, first time on uh, Vantage Masters in Charles of Cold Steel 3. I'm like, damn it. Thanks, Lloyd. You're a lifesaver. I, I got unlucky <laughs> on Vantage Masters. I mean, you could get pretty unlucky. It depends on drawing the cards and the uh, NPC, you know, but probably I screwed up or I should have thought of something. I really miss Vantage Masters. Walk in the park, so I just want you to try casting the art that conceals you from enemies. Huh. Oh, 
art that conceals you from enemies. So all we have to do is cast that correctly. And that's that. Special art. Yep, quartz combination correctly. Yep. Because my friend told me very soon you can get up to level 2, but I think not yet. So once you confirm the art's effect, come report me. Okay. So that's the Enigma combat test. Which I might gonna do a bit later. Or, yeah, actually it was the first one. Yeah. This will be last. So we need to go, yeah, to that place, uh, Amarco Village. So, yeah, for today's video, we're gonna do this one. But I'm gonna go around town, or in the city, Crossbell. Oh, boy. So in order to access the enemy's performance, try casting an art that conceals yourself from enemies. Okay. So, uh, she wants us to cast the art conceals on self from enemies. Jeez. Alright, anyways, I came here to do, uh... What the? Oh, that's right. Do you have guys happen to have any high-level quartz? <laughs> what? <laughs> quartz that are too powerful to sit in the normal slot. Yeah. In order to set them, the slot itself needs to be strengthened. Oh, there we go. So we can go to level 2, right? I'm actually still learning the ropes on high-level quartz. Synthesize myself, so I can't help you on make any... Uh... Okay, enhance the slots for you, so you ever need help with that, just let me know. Of course, it's gonna cost more, uh, Sapeth. Be up to level 2. I think that's the max. In addition to gaining the ability to set high-level quartz, yep, uh, and more EP is good. Which I'm gonna do on Teotot, and, uh, let's see, yeah, that's why I came here to do slots first. There we go. Now I can go to level 2 now. But I want, before we go level 2, maybe I might raise maybe 1, but I need to open the other slots first. So we have a lot of Sepeth from the mines, you know, that I've been grinding a bit, so I'm gonna... That... I hope it's enough. Hold the phone. Oh, yep, new chapter, new quart. Well, up to level 2 now, that's nice. Shield two. Oh yes, I'm definitely gonna get. Yeah, more evasion is good. And I do like. Uh... I might gonna get impede for my other characters, but this is twenty percent chance. Oh, eagle eye. So yeah. Um... Oh yeah, I I do like action too. And that's all she has for now, until we get to a new chapter. But more importantly, I gotta raise the slots first. So, uh, doing of this. And I need to get more, uh, Mira. Huh. Oh, wow. 600 fire, and- what? Oh, I see, because, you know cheaper one and it gets more expensive to upgrade down here oh, wow yep 800 okay I see last one uh damn I'm gonna need more Sabbath that tempting to upgrade but hold on I'll let you guys know if I really need to upgrade Dang, there's lots of good ones. I really want, um, I really want Evade too. Huh. So I'll be right back real quickly so you guys don't have to watch through this. I'll let you guys know what I'm what I did, so I'll be right back. 
All right, I'm back. Uh, so this is what I made. I was thinking about. So I'm gonna give an action to to Randy because his speed is pretty slow. It's like 29 out of, yeah. And I also made hit number two because his hit is not that good. Um, it, and plus he's using like an axe that lowers his uh, hit, right? So there you go, more accuracy for Randy. Hopefully you hit him hard. And I might, yeah, I'm gonna give, uh, you know, this one because we got more space. Oh yeah, for the HP two, I'm gonna give it to. Oh wow, man, Tio doesn't have uh, much. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it to. Uh, shoot, yeah, I'll just give it to. Uh, is this water? Yeah, sure, why not? And then I'll put the... Oh, wow. This is wind. Or whatever, I can just put it right here. Yeah, I'm not really pro <laughs> on this court stuff and builds, but, you know. Okay. But this is a bit different if you want the arts uh, compared to uh, Trails of Cold Steel games. I mean, this is like Trails of the Sky and Trails from Zero and probably maybe... Uh, Azure also that you have to use certain quartz to unlock um, if you go to right here to get arts and I might gonna need some better ones soon so yeah the better the uh, quartz the better um, arts right here the higher level ones that cost a lot damn but it's gonna cost a lot of EP to cast it of course so all right, let's uh, continue. Um, I don't know. Let's just chat with some people real quick. Oh, <laughs> ZCF, huh? Zeiss Central Factory, engineering factory located. Yep, liberal. Spawned by clockmakers. They have the best airship technology too. Yep, and you know what that means when the uh, what the reason why Prince. Oh, sorry about that, you know, if you guys haven't played Trails of Cold Steel 4, you know, there's a reason why Prince Oliver wants to make a certain airship in Liberal somewhere. Huh. Man, Liberal, I mean, it makes sense because Trails of the Sky, you know, it makes sense. They make the best airships there. Man, I was so sad and pissed off at the same time at Trails of Cold Steel 3 at what happened to this one certain airship. I don't know if I... Man, it's hard to not to spoil because, you know, uh, just in case if you guys are new. Sorry about that phone call, so I'm back. Well, anyways, uh, shoot, there's so much to do on a new chapter. Damn. Hmm. Huh. Trying to think of something, but uh, let's go to. Let's see. Uh, just want to check if it's updated, but I want to visit um, East Street real quick. What the? Oh dang it! <laughs> now I see why. Um, if you play Trails of Cold Steel games, they add a green line across, so you know that the boundary when you're going to a new area. <laughs> I just want to talk to this guy real quickly. Uh, yep. See what's going on. Huh. <laughs> yep, too spoiled. Uh, probably they're not here. Um, Joshua and let's go check. Is it this one? Oh yes, they're here. They are here. Oh my gosh, from Trails from Zero. Or, I mean, Trails from the Sky. You guys, yep, and Estelle. Yeah, sorry for barging in your room. You guys didn't even lock it in that last chapter. My bad. <laughs> Good to see you too. Uh, wait a second. You two living here? Yeah, they rented this uh, apartment room. I'm going down here while we're in Crossbell. Around during the day, but 
you're still welcome to come around whenever you feel like it. Deal? Deal? <laughs> Man. Sounds good. Huh. Relationship, huh? Yeah, they, ha they have the same last name. They sure hell don't look like a pair of siblings to me. Oh, yeah, that explains... Yeah, Cassius Bright about Joshua. Yeah, my friend told me about it. Oh, snap. Are they married? What the... No. Yo, Lady Killer. <laughs> Man, Lady Killer? Oh, Randy, I can't wait for you to meet Reen in Trails of Cold Steel 3. So anyways, uh, give it to me straight. What kind of relationship do you... And the stuff... Anyway... It's a long story, yeah. I was actually adopted, yep, into her family when I was uh, 11. Yep, if I would have played Trails of the Sky. And, uh, yeah, we uh, both became bracers. We sort of, uh, sort of started dating? Huh. Okay, so... <laughs> so they grew up together, and now they're a couple? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. They heard. So I've been rough. We got lucky. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, they're just chilling, taking a break. And do a lot of requests than us. Jeez. I bet they did like more than 10 requests every day. While like the SSS is like we, we can only do like what? Around 3 requests at a time. And then we got another 3 whatever while we're doing the main quest or something. But that's how it is in this game. Huh. Aeroponia, huh? Okay, Marcy. Alright, so that's Estelle and Joshua. If you want to talk to them in their apartment. Huh. Alright. Fran. So yeah, I'm trying to get through this quickly. Just pause if you want to read it. And when I go too fast, I might kind of read it while I'm, uh, you know, editing. I'm trying to speed read through this. Jeez. Ooh, hospital bills. That's not good. Damn. Bill sucks. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um see what's going on do you have anything updated on shop so I'm just doing a shopping stuff real quick for today's video and then we'll go out I'll make something Wow 70th birthday you have anything new oh huh so I bought this one already two of them last time but mute to seal I guess not I might gonna visit the IBC bank off screen if I wanna Marmara. Oh well too bad. Well sold out. I'd have some time to do a little shopping. Oh crap, I need to snap out of it. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Dines Fresh. Well you're not selling me something, but look, this lady is. Ah, a Marco Village. Jeez. Well, uh, I will do some more cooking if I find more uh, ingredients, but the problem is I don't know which one exactly. You have to talk to the right NPC at the right time in a certain chapter or whatever to get the recipe. I bet the tickets are expensive. <laughs> Ticking me off. Uh-oh, look who decided to stop by again. Did you bring me some more fresh fish? 
Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good condition. Yeah, all right. I could probably sell these. Oh. So you take the fit. Man, I've been fishing in like since way back chapter one or whatever, and then it's like should be rotten by now. This craft spell popular, so I'll give you a nice reward if you bring me some. Oh, so this is the guy. I thought it was the fishing guild. Because in Trails of Cold Steel, like one through four, whatever, you go and talk to the fishing guild members, whatever, and you trade for fish, so but okay. Oh, Oh, this is another good place to uh, get Mira, or I mean, not Mira, my bad, uh, Sapeth. But, you know, I might gonna hold on certain fish. Um, you know, like, for example, the, the cat on the rooftop, like, you know, Cope. Is that right? The name? And, um, oh, shoot. Oh, yeah, and plus, uh, I might save certain fish because you can use the fish for bait to get b bigger fish. So, I'll think about this. If I got a lot of too much fish, then I will sell or give it to this guy trade. I'll let you guys know. Alright, let's see what's... Oh, yeah, let's go visit the um, the old couple here. Should visit them, like, uh, once or twice in a while, you know. Yep. Always have festival. Especially in the Trials of Cold Steel games. Ever since we have started festivals, we're all looking forward to the sorts of things that they come with. Huh. Man, she's so excited. Um, hold on, did I check there? Alright. The old man Morris. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, they're rich. They got lots of Mira. I mean, that sucks. It's better if we just kill them. So they don't bother us. But no, we can't. <laughs> we can't do that. Yeah, politics. Boo-hoo. Man. Oh, well. Damn, that's some big bottles of uh, booze and uh, orange juice or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jeez, the art style. Oh, gunshots. What? Near the warehouse. What? Managed to escape. If... If, uh, if it was Joshua and Estelle, they would have catched them. I know they're freaking fast, no. Let's check this up, and then we're going to go out somewhere. Man, these guys are in the same spot, like their favorite, uh, yeah. <laughs> Listen up, Puck. So, yeah, you're going to see these two guys until, like, Trails of Cold Steel 3 and 4, when they started their own shop. Until they almost done goofed up in uh, Trails of Cold Steel 4. <laughs> will bankrupt us in minutes, yeah. Sorry for block- oh, hey, listen to this. Yeah, we were trying- we saw her so many times, but... So amazing, I totally admire her. And sorry for blocking your way. You have recipe? Let's just chat with them. <laughs> listen to this. Yeah. Place and I'm blocking us. <laughs> okay, anyways. The hotel is expensive. Yeah, fully booked. They always raise the price whenever there's a, um, a festival or if there's a show going on or something. I mean, that's how it goes in real life. What the heck? And let's ch chat with this angry Zhang Hui. That name reminds me from a Dynasty Warriors character, but never mind. I overheard some of the customers talking. God, this city as well. I used to live in the Eastern Quarter. I've seen how frighteningly cunning they are for myself. Man! Recommend that you don't get involved with them. Oh, I will. I will, right? SSS will get involved. I mean, heck, even uh, Reen and the others. You're creepy. So, um, in Trails of Cold Steel 3 and whatsoever, but just checking if there's any guests, but never mind. Anyways, um, yeah, that's Calvert for you. I can't wait to play the game of Calvert. What's going on in Calvert? Well, soon, but. Another truck got into an accident. Oh, jeez. What happened? 
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Fiercely regulated now, so you don't see many people going through. Yeah, wait until like Trails of Cold Steel 3 or 2 and a half, something like that, but... Uh, Alright, let's um... Dang, I only got 8 minutes, let's keep going. Uh, Let's test out the... Uh, no, let's go West Street? Because uh, I really want that treasure chest. Share with you. You find yourself on. Yeah, that's where I'm gonna go, anyways. West Crossbell Highway. Bellguard Gate at the end of the road. So set up the right besides our border with the Empire. Transport trucks passing through here. Okay, thank you for that. And I'll check out these other buildings if I'm uh, if I want to, but we'll see. I'm just gonna talk to some as many NPCs as I can. And then, like, we'll continue a little bit. Any bus stop sign to... I don't want to do that. I want to fight some monsters. And get treasure chests. Quickly reach your destination. Yeah, if you want a fast trap. But I bet it costs mirror, I bet. See, watch. Oops. What is the point of... Okay, whatever. We have to take care of that monster from, uh... Yeah, side quest in Chapter 2. Which is this one, West Crossbell Highway. Yep. I'm not gonna fight that yet, maybe next video, because I'm running out of time. Let's look at our map. I said map. It's the R1 button, my bad. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Um, man, there's some creepy bugs and monsters around, but... I'm gonna go around. All right, what are we finding? By himself. Black burger bug. More bugs. I'll just attack him once. Uh, I'll just move a bit. Use animal. Oh yeah. Wait, what? Wait, summons Zet. I'll just call him Zet for short. Support character turn. Telepathically call Zed using an orbital staff. Huh. You know, like, I'll call him like on the next fight maybe. So, subspecies of insect monsters that is native to Crossbell. Very fierce. Huh. Native, huh? How come we didn't uh, encounter these guys before? Or while well, in Charles Cult, my bad. Okay. Let's just go. Oh yeah, crap! I forgot to- Oh, damn it. <laughs> I forgot to do that, uh, quest here. Uh, what is it called? I'm a little bit confused here. In order to test the performance of Enigma Unit, so she wants us to cast the art... ...on self from enemies. So we have to use an art... ...something. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I'm getting confusing myself. Alright, let's try it. So, let's see. We're fighting... Oh, a white one. Damn it. Uh, let's identify it right now. Okay, so a subspecies of Crespillion Insect is highly defensive shell. So, this one, we have to use arts, right? Oh, it drops white rice and dumplings. Okay, so... Why, we use fire? I don't have fire. Uh, here you can. Oops. So, what, using arts right here? I don't know. <laughs> My bad, you guys. It's onto itself. Hey, look, hates water too, so why not? Huh. I don't know. I'll just uh, use arts, I guess. Did he run away? That's the first time I've seen a monster in this game run away.
I think I'm doing the quest wrong. Sorry, you guys. I'm so noob. <laughs> Cons Okay, I'm back, you guys. I apologize. So, uh, yeah, I did look it up, you guys, since I'm so dumb on this one. Um, there's a certain quartz, a quartz I need, um, which is called, uh, that you can use it to use stealth on yourself. Wow. I've been mostly using stealth on the, the crafts, you know, like Fee, for example, and, and Josh, well, yeah, certain characters in the Trails game, but in this game, it's like a little puzzle thing you have to figure out what quartz you have to use it right there the art that conceals on self from enemies so you gotta have this thing called the hollow spear so my bad you guys so this is definitely a blue thumbnail since i look it up online because i'm gonna be stuck on this forever so my bad you guys i'm stupid um so i might do that next video because i need to have a set i need to have like it costs three water, three wind, and five, um, the, the white one, my bad. <laughs> oh well, let's open this treasure chest and then I'll do that one. I'll set it up, uh, next video. Actually, three games worth of expectations made you look, but, uh, still taking credit. Damn, I'm so stupid on quartz. We got another new slime again? Even <laughs> drone, ebony, like you know the dark or black, you know. Whatever. That's just what the. Okay. Oh, let's do another holy bullet. So yeah. So small mollusk monster that uses time arts, endless spring of horrible energy within. And I will grind more. Sapith, if I, I'll let you guys know. Oh, you missed from a critical. Ooh, it's a good... Well, hold on. I'll do it with Lloyd. Hold on, um... Alright, I'm gonna do a craft and, uh... Impede. This is finally I get to impede a monster or an enemy, you know. Because there's a trophy... I have to impede a number of enemies. You know, I haven't done this one for a while. There. He didn't do anything. Oh, what? You have the critical. Well, thankfully we blind him. Alright, that's it. Alright, so, and I screwed up my timer. Sorry about that. So, uh... So this is Ray on uh, trails, trails from zero. Oh, nice level up. Wild Swan. So what I'm gonna do off screen? I'm gonna get that quartz for the side quest. You know the stealth, and we'll finish that up, and then we'll continue West Crossbell Highway. I might gonna do some stuff off screen in uh, in Crossbell. So sorry about that. I had to look it up. Just to let you, the viewers know I did look it up online. Uh, about that side quest because I'm stupid. <laughs> so uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and goodbye everyone.